So in this video, I wanna share with you seven ChatGPT copywriting tips for beginners. So maybe you're brand new to copywriting or you wanna get a little bit more experience with copywriting, ChatGPT is an incredible tool to use. So whether you're selling your own products, your own services, or maybe you're consulting or doing some freelancing, this video will help you, all right? But before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like or leave a comment. It really helps for my videos to get found a lot easier on YouTube and I really appreciate it. All right, so let's get right into it. The seven ChatGPT copywriting tips for beginners. We're gonna go over all these prompts and some examples, and you're just gonna need to insert whatever it is you're selling or whatever it is that you're promoting, all right? So the first is headlines and subheadlines. So headlines and subheadlines are the first thing that people see when they are landing on a landing page, a sales page, an opt-in page, and that is what's going to get people's attention to either leave the page and never see your website again, or stick around to read more and eventually give you their email address or buy something from you, All right? So this is a prompt that you can use for any high converting uh, headline and subheadline. So it says, write a high converting headline and subheadline for my sales page that sells my product X that does Y. Now you can change this, you know, sales page, you could change this to an opt-in page, you could change it to whatever you want, and then insert your product and what problem it actually solves. So here's the example, write a high converting headline and subheadline for my sales page that sells my anti-aging product, Visibly Young Retinol Cream. And we just copy paste it, into ChatGPT and it's that easy, it spits it out. Now you might think, hey, I, I, don't, I don't really like this one that much. Easy, right? Three more. Very simple, you could choose from those and go from there. So the first one, get visibly looking, visibly younger looking skin with our retinol cream, reduce wrinkles and fine lines. Subheadline, transform your skin with visibly young retinol cream formulated with the powerful anti-aging ingredients for a youthful radiant glow. Perfect, this is the, type of copy that is going to get people to continue to read on and to continue to read your copy and buy your products or your services, All right? And then we're just gonna go over here and paste it into our, uh, onto our landing page, all right? So what exactly I use is ClickFunnels. This is a drag and drop editor. You can create sales funnels. You can create uh, landing pages, opt-in pages, anything you need for whatever you sell online, whether you sell digital products, physical products, coaching, consulting, uh, websites, this helps you do it. And you can get a free 14 day trial, uh, just click the link below and you can get uh, complete access to it and start messing around with it, start creating landing pages, sales pages, using ChatGPT, using the information that I'm giving you in this video, all right? So now that we have the headline, the sub, the sub headline, it's gonna get people to continue to read, but what are they going to read? Well, we want them to read a sales page. We want them to get, uh, to take an action. And that's where the sales page prompt is gonna help with your copywriting. All right, so for this, we're gonna input this into ChatGPT. Create a sales page for my product X that does Y. You just insert X and Y, whatever it is your business does. Use the problem agitate solution framework to craft a compelling message that drives conversions and persuades potential customers to take action. So in sales pages and in any kind of marketing that you're doing, even if you're just posting on social media, even if you're just sending out emails, you can use the problem agitate solution framework because it's a proven copywriting framework, all right? And I'm just using it for a sales page, for example, but you can use it for any other type of content that you're creating to get, that you want someone to take action, all right? Now I did this for my, the Visibly Young Retinol Cream and it's gonna spit out a sales page. It's gonna spit out copy that's going to get people to take action based on what I'm selling. All right, so it talks about the problem with an anti-aging cream, right? The problem is that as we age, our skin loses its elasticity and firmness, which can result in fine lines, wrinkles, and sagging skin. Then it's gonna agitate it a little bit more, and it's gonna talk about, hey, I know you've tried other products in the past, and they probably didn't work for you. And then it's gonna present the solution, which is visibly young retinol cream, or whatever your product is that you input into that prompt, as that is the solution. That is what they need to buy to to get out of that problem that they're experiencing. All right, so this is the sales page part of writing copy that you can use this, this prompt to significantly overcome any, any overwhelm, any obstacles that you're facing when you're writing 
or copy when you're writing your sales pages, right? So this is literally all, how quick is it to put in this prompt and it spits out an entire sales page that can get people to take an action, all right? Now, the next one is storytelling. So storytelling is huge in copywriting because storytelling really can break beliefs. It can really help people envision how their life will be when they buy a product or service from you. All right, so this prompt itself is help me create a compelling before and after scenario for my target audience that vividly illustrates the transformation they will experience after purchasing my product X, right, whatever your product is, and use descriptive language to paint a picture of what their life will be like before and contrast it with how their life will be improved after they use the product. Use this picture to create a strong desire to purchase a product and show how it can help them achieve their desired outcome. Do you see how important and critical this can be? and game changing this can be in writing copy, in convincing people to take an action, all right? So all I did with this is I just took the X part and I changed my Visibly Young Retinol Cream and it's gonna create a compelling story that we can use in our marketing, we can use in our emails, we can use in our social media posts, we can use in our advertising, all right? You can get inspiration from these. Okay, so let's see what it spit out. Before using Visibly Young Retinol Cream, imagine waking up every morning and looking in the mirror to see fine lines, wrinkles, and uneven skin tones staring back at you. You feel self-conscious and embarrassed about your appearance, which affects your confidence and how you interact with the world. You've tried various skincare products in the past, but nothing seems to work. But imagine after using Visibly Young Retinol Cream for just a few weeks, you look in the mirror and see a transformation. Your skin is smoother, more radiant, and more youthful looking. Fine lines and wrinkles have faded away and dark spots and discol discolorations have become less noticeable. You feel confident and proud of your appearance, which positively, positively impacts all aspects of your life. Now, I'm not going to continue on anymore, but you get the picture. It paints a story in the potential customer's heads that this is possible. This is a transformation that's possible, right? So use this as inspiration for getting people to take action. All right, the next one, tone of voice. Many people underestimate the power of the tone of voice that you're using in your copy. Now, this is like a ninja tactic that people aren't talking about, but it can be soup, it can increase your conversions significantly because of how it works. So, how does it work? We want to find out the tone of voice that's going to connect with our target audience best. If I'm selling an anti-aging product, I want to use a tone of voice in my copy that's going to connect with them. If I am selling a joke product, a gag uh, a product, uh, I want to use a witty tone. If I'm selling uh, uh, life insurance, I want to I want to use a tone that's going to connect with the the target audience best. So how do we figure that out? How do we determine what the tone of voice is that's going to connect best with it? That's where this prompt is going to come in. What tone of voice would appeal to my target? audience of age gender problem that they want to solve so uh, in this case it's women over the age of 35 that want to have reduced the signs of aging copy paste it right and all you need to do is input what you uh, input your product and your service into it and it's going to spit this out so it's going to tell us to appeal to your target audience of women over the age of 35 who want to reduce the signs of aging the best tone of voice to use is warm friendly and empathetic right we want to use that that is critical that is uh, important to our copy to make sure that People resonate with it, right? People resonate with the ad copy. People resonate with the sales page copies. People resonate with your email copy, your social media posts, right? We don't wanna use a joking, humorous type of copy in a business that doesn't, doesn't interact like that, right? If you're selling funeral, uh, if you're selling caskets at a funeral, right? You don't wanna have a humorous, type of tone of voice. You want a somber tone of voice. And to know that can be significant in your business and in your conversion. So all I would really do is copy these, tone of voice, warm, friendly, empathetic. And then whatever it is, whatever kind of copy that you're writing, add at the end of it, write in a warm, friendly, and empathetic tone of voice. It's that simple and ChatGPT will spit out copy for whatever it is, your sales pages, your emails, your social media posts, it will spit it out in a warm, friendly, empathetic tone of voice that's gonna connect better with your target audience, leading to more money. All right, number five, call to actions. This is something that is critical 
in your uh, with your sales pages, with your opt-in pages, with any kind of uh, marketing, it's it's critical because we don't want to just put a simple call to action, click here, right? That is not vagueness and general general being general in your copy is not going to get people to take action, right? So write a short. Uh, a short and effective call to action that encourages people to to take action and buy my product X. All right, so this is, is the example, right? A short and effective call to action that encourages people to buy my product visibly young retinol cream, okay? All right, so this is a little bit longer than I expected. However, I'm simply gonna tell ChatGPT, right? It's 70% shorter. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, transform your skin today with Visibly Young Retinol Cream. Our anti-aging solution uh, formula reduces the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles. Uh, click buy now to achieve your skincare goals. Okay, so this is really what you want out of it is to get a statement that's going to get people to take action, right? So down here, as we can see, the call to action for this example is grab your copy of Funnelology now for only $7. Limited time, they use some scarcity in it. Order the case for seven dollars. Order the case study for seven dollars. Right? It's not just a buy now, order now, uh, click here. Right? It's more detailed than that, and we need to use call to actions that are specific. Right? We don't want to be general in our copywriting. All right. Number six is benefits versus features. I think a lot of people, especially beginners, think that when they are selling something, it's all about the features. Right? Uh, I'm selling this cell phone. It's all about the features. No, it's not all about the size of the phone. It's not all about the uh, the specs of the phone. Yes, that's important, but what do I want most out of it? I want what's gonna benefit me. I get to be in contact with my family. I get to send them pictures every day uh, through text messaging. I get to FaceTime them. I get to check my email. I get to be more efficient with work, right? Stuff like that. You want to know the benefits and the features of your product and your service that you're selling. So this prompt will help you showcase the benefits and features of my product X, which does Y, to potential customers in a way that's clear and compelling. And again, I'm using my example, Visibly Young Retinol Cream, and it's simply gonna spit out the features and the benefits of the product that we can use on our sales pages, we can use on our social media posts, we can use on our, uh, on our emails, right? So the benefits, right? People buy more about buy more based on the benefits than the features. That's something really important and critical to know with copywriting. So the benefits reduces fine lines and wrinkles, uh, improves your skin texture, brightens out and evens tone, hydrates and nourishes. Now the features, ret it's retinol, uh, hy hyaluric acid, vitamin C. It's a gentle formula, right? We need to know these things to be able to convince people to buy it, right? And number seven objections so being being two steps ahead of your 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 customers where they are in the sales process is critical okay we need to know what is going to hold someone back from purchasing what is going to get what is going to uh get people to not take action and then counter uh our and use our copy to actually get them to take action to use that objection and overcome it Okay, so we need we can literally do this by writing into ChatGPT, address potential objections that customers may have about my product X, which provides Y, and provide compelling reasons that overcome these objections. And again, using these objections in your sales pages, using them in your social media posts, using them in your email, uh, email copy, right? So we want to know what is gonna hold someone back and it's gonna list it out and how to overcome them. So you can see how powerful this really is when you really get into detail, right? Again, we don't wanna be generic with our copy. We don't want to be vague with our copy. We need to be specific. That is gonna get people to take action. So you can see, uh, objection, I have sensitive skin and I'm worried about it. So imagine going to a landing page or a sales page and this is your objection. I have sensitive skin. I don't know if it's gonna work for me. I don't know if it's gonna irritate my skin. And if you don't see that objection being handled on the sales page, I am not gonna buy, I'm not gonna purchase. And that's the same thing that every other visitor on your website is going to think if you don't handle the objections properly. So the response would be, we understand your concern and we formulated our cream to be gentle enough on all skins. Our formula contains nourishing and hydrating ingredients like blah, blah, blah. 
you see the point. It overcomes the objections. Okay, next objections. I've tried other anti-aging products before and they haven't worked for me. Response, we understand how frustrating it can be. Uh, however, we're confident that it will work, it will work for you. Our, our formula contains powerful anti-aging ingredients like retinol, which have been proven, right? You use scientific research, you use testimonials, you use uh, case studies that will help overcome that objection, okay? So you can just input your business, input your product, or let's say you're promoting affiliate products, input that and understand the objection, understand the target customer better than your competitors and use that to create compelling uh, copy that will get people to take action and buy from you, okay? So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it was informative. I hope you got a lot out of it. I know I talked a lot about this, but it is the starting point to, to making money with copy, right? Whether it's selling your own products or services or being a, a consultant for other people, it's gonna help you significantly in life, all right? So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you're gonna like these two also. Make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.